Hello, everybody. Bart Gurley, The Gurley Group, and I've got a special guest today. we got Brandon Bates. Hey, what's happening? With hey. Honey Rock Real, Real Estate. Estate Group. Yeah. I love it. Welcome today. How, How are you? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. How are you doing? Uh, great. We just had a team meeting in there with an amazing uh, presenter, Phil oh, wow. Treadwell, okay. at Thrive okay. Mortgage. That was awesome. Uh, learned uh, kind of keeping up to date with the market conditions. We're mm -hmm. obviously in a shift right now, so right. Um, every time we have a change in uh, market conditions, somebody is going to benefit right somebody's going to benefit from a change not just all right, right. doom and gloom right right, right. um so that's somebody's going to win that's right right, 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 win. right so we we're trying right. to identify who that might be with the current increasing uh, rate environment right. and um i guess inventory's kind of breaking loose a little bit um mm -hmm. you know we're not getting like 20 offers on the property necessarily every time now yeah, just 10 it's, <laughs> right? it's like, but it's still really good right prices right, right, are still right. solid so who benefits, that's what we're gonna talk about today is, who benefits in the environment right now, mm. in middle of June, 2022, right, uh, most right. right now, and what do we come up with? Right, well, it's still <laughs> sellers. You got a place to sell, you're winning. That's right. But I got a question for you about that, man. Okay. So if I'm selling my house, right, and since the sellers win, when I'm a seller, I'm good, yep. right? Because I'm selling. That's right. But then I need a place to live. I, and that's what is uh, like the year and a half, uh, previous year and a half, that's been kind of one of the top objections. It's like great equity, can sell it in a minute, basically just got to put a sign in the yard and it'll be sold. Right. Uh, but where do I go? And what am I going to have to pay to get that house? Uh, and I may be homeless, right? I heard that all right. the time. Right. Maybe homeless and then I'm paying more to live in the same neighborhood that I'm living in or where I want to live. That's right. That's right. So even though there were some flaws to that mindset, generally, um, it's about, I think it's, a lot more clear now, right? Mm. So we've had um, the prices still stay high, right? Still, prices are amazingly high. Over the last two years, you're going to make a lot more than you would have 2019. Um, but we've had a decrease in buyer activity because of the rising rate environment. So right. we've lost some of those buyers from the marketplace, which makes the seller, when they sell and get that equity out, they're going to be in a much stronger position now. They're going to have choice on housing inventories. Mm -hmm. They're gonna not have to go 20 over or 50 over or 100 over of list price. Mm -hmm. uh, price. Agents generally are pricing more accurately to the market instead of lower to drive traffic because there's right. not as much traffic. Um, so they're gonna be able to really be in the driver's seat on picking that new house. That's right. what we've kind of talked about, right? Right, and you know, the other thing is, is it's like, okay, I'm in this house, but I wanna get into someplace else. I think we got real good tools to help people get into the next place. Well, tell me about some of them. Well, hey, one is like you hooked me up with the uh, neighborhood domination program. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I love that domination. We go in, we take it over. But basically, we go in and we find the houses in the place that you want to go before the houses even get on the market sometimes. That's right. I mean, we go in and we've got these special tools that help us get in and get up close and personal in that particular market. And unlike a lot of other places that where it's like, okay, I'll go, we'll, we'll look on the MLS. Yeah. Bart showed me how to personalize that service. So you say, hey, I wanna be in Hollyhock. I'll find the houses that are available for you in Hollyhock. Some will be on market, some will be off, and you'll be the first one at the door. That's right, yeah. So that same thing we just talked about, about sellers really having a desire or a motivation to move, a need but maybe the need's not strong enough to actually get in the uh, marketplace because it, it was pretty volatile, uh, a little higher risk, but now it's not. Uh, but yeah, we can connect with a whole neighborhood of people and say, are you thinking about selling? We're trying to connect buyers and sellers. It's not about listing your house necessarily. And so we can actually kind of make the market uh, in, in some aspects. So that is a great tool yeah. um, and I love it too. And I learned it from somebody else. So <laughs> we're all about sharing. Right. Um, and then, uh, yeah, any other tools that you've been using lately for your sellers? For my sellers, well, I've been I've been using that. I've also been going on Facebook and Facebook groups, you know, getting the community groups yep. and looking where people are talking about what's going on. So there's the Facebook groups. There's also some mortgage companies actually will kind of like slide to you. Hey, you know what? Some inventory is loosening up in these areas. That's right. That's so. right. Title title uh, team. Uh, some of the people in our, our business are title uh, reps and things like that. Um, but yeah, so for sellers right now, it's a great time to really look at uh, valuations, right? And so mm -hmm. that's something you and I both offer. There's links below to connect with us about a 15 minute uh, free consultation. So we can give you 
an accurate assessment of value, not a zestimate or anything that's kind of just macro numbers. This will be uh, houses that are on your street or around the corner. <laughs> right. But you saw the sign, you'll find out what it sold for and how that affected your value. Right. As well as the right. net proceeds. Like, what are you going to walk away with that you can apply to that other house that you may or may not uh, want uh, because of, you know, an extra bedroom or you're downsizing? Whatever it is, the sellers are really in a better position, even though they kind of got... Uh, slapped around a little bit with the lower <laughs> yeah, <laughs> buyer, in, right. buyer inventory, right. prices are still holding. So right. they're actually in a better position, in my opinion, than they were you know, six weeks ago. Right. So. And when you're selling, it's still a great time to go out and buy because the market is going to plateau and then it's going to go up. Yeah. So, you know, the waiting for the bubble to pop or whatever, which is not going to come, is kind of not in your advantage to your advantage because even when the rates go down if the prices plateau you know your three hundred thousand dollar house is now worth six hundred thousand and then you're waiting to buy because you're waiting for the interest rates to go down but now your six hundred thousand dollars is worth seven seven fifty yeah you're not getting as much as much value not at all you know? yeah the waiting game is probably not the smartest tactic i think just uh investing in knowledge with a great professional like you or myself um, who are really in tune with the market. We're students of the process exactly. uh, from a week-to-week -week basis. And so that's what I recommend for any, any seller out there thinking about um, making a move. Right. And right. so... Yeah, because if you're going to wait, you wait for the bus, you wait for the boil to pop, you know, to, to, to boil, you, oh, yes. you know, you might even wait for your significant other to get ready to go someplace. That's what you wait on. But, but buying property... Nah. <laughs> not, not a good idea right yeah. now. So connect with us below. Obviously, you can like, subscribe to our channels. Um, connecting with Brandon Bates right there at the Honey Walk Realty Group is right yeah. below. Or Bart Gurley, because I'm telling you, the Gurley Group is the group to be with if you're not with Honey Rock. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.